Доброго времени суток, друзья, все любители доты. Со мной рядом находится легенда, просто легенда, Тоби Ван Киноби, великолепный комментатор. So, hello, good evening, Тоби. Uh, seems like you got lots of energy for hard working in finals. Yeah, I've actually hardly had to do anything today. We've had a couple of uh, hard days so far with the first three days. Uh, a bit of a late night last night. Uh, but yeah, got some good rest. I'm ready for a fantastic grand final. I'm hoping so. Empire, they played amazingly yesterday. And, well, I'm hoping we see more of the same from them because they're going to need it up against Na'Vi. Uh, is it your first visit of Eastern Europe and Kyiv? Uh, how do you like being here? Uh, yeah, she is my first visit. I've traveled a lot, lot, lot around Southeast Asia and parts of Europe, but yeah, first time ever coming to Ukraine. The last two star ladders I've been casting from Berlin, just wishing I was here. And now that I'm here, I love it. Every, everyone's so amazing. Everyone's just so friendly. And everyone here loves their esports. That's the best thing about it. Um, do you have any free time for sightseeing? Um, actually, I was asked this morning if I wanted to go sightseeing, and uh, it's one of these things that I know a lot of people that are close to me saying, oh man, you get to travel everywhere, have you seen this place, have you seen this place? I'm like, nah, no, I, I, don't, I don't travel to go and see the sites. My site is exactly where I am right here. I travel for the people I, I talk to online all the time, the people who watch me all the time to come and greet them, and to be here live for the LAN events, that's what interests me. Seeing a building or two, might do it if there's time, but I won't go out of my way to do it. Uh, yesterday you streamed with Vilat Dota Female Cup. Uh, did you like that experience? Um, streaming with Vilat is very, very different. I think a lot, a lot of my viewers also were a little bit uh, confused about it all as well because it's not the type of broadcast I normally do. Normally we're very, very positive and clean and very, very happy. And I think Vilat actually managed to control himself a lot more than I thought he normally would have um, during that. It was just a bit of fun at the end, at the end of the day. Uh, as far as the girls playing, they actually played some really good Dota. Um, I was actually pleasantly surprised at, at their skill level. There's still, of course, things that we're used to in the professional scene uh, that we normally cast, and I would love to see them improve to that point. Uh, do you think they can, girls can play on the same level as guys? Of course, of course. There's no reason why they can't. In fact, uh, having a women's league, I actually disagree with. If The only, the only positive I see of having a women's league is it gives maybe confidence for women to come into the world of esports, which is dominated a lot by men, obviously, and a lot of men who are like, yeah, we will joke pretty badly about women. Uh, and I know myself, like every now and then I, I let one slip here or there, and it's, it's a joke, but it can still make, obviously, people uncomfortable. So if, if this is what the, what the girls need to feel accepted to get into the industry, industry, then I 100% support it, but I wouldn't like to see this as a standard kind of thing. I, I would like to actually see the girls competing in teams with everybody else. There doesn't need to be a division. This is eSports. We're not separated by countries, not separated by gender. Anybody can play. Yeah. Uh, how do you like games uh, on this Star Ladder season? Uh, Uh, games so far have been pretty entertaining. There have been a couple of uh, one-sided matches, but every single time there is, it's to really good play. And for me, as long as the teams are playing really, really well, I don't really care too much. Like, a lot of people label me, it's like, oh man, you're a Na'Vi supporter. And I, last night I was there going, go with the good B team! Because I, I kind of know, like, also Empire, they're an amazing team, but the underdogs are the ones I cheer for, because if they play better Dota, they push the other guys to play even better Dota, and that gives us even even better games, and that's all I really care about. Uh, in real talk, you said that uh, Navi will win this championship, uh, but do you have same opinion after games which held yesterday? Actually, in talk, in talk Dota, I, when I sat down with Puppy as well as Cinder, and we, we decided to do our predictions, and I actually said Empire was going to be the ones that were going to take, was going to take this competition. I was 100% wrong on my third pick because I thought Moscow 5 was going to be in third. Yeah, wrong. Um, but yeah, first being Empire, second being Na'Vi. Even coming in today, obviously Na'Vi are the favorites, but 
for me, I think after the first game, I will know if my prediction is going to be correct. I'm actually saying Empire is going to take this 3-2. Even though Na'Vi has a one-game advantage, I think Empire really has what it takes to shut down Na'Vi. I, I thought that before we came into this competition. Through their online play, they just looked amazing. Na'Vi on land, we can never, ever, ever underestimate them. And I, they've already been pushed by the Mouse B team. I, I really think they were, they were pushed hard by them. Empire, if they get their draft right, up against Puppy, not an easy thing. But if they get their draft right and their lane mechanics work, I think they can carry it through their team fight as well. Navi's got amazing team fight, but so does Empire at the same time. So that's going to be all down to who gets a better opening and who can make it work. But it's definitely going to be the strength of the lanes early on will be the key for Empire. If they get that, I, still, I think my prediction will come through 3 2 their way. Uh, Toby, as a commentator, is absolutely amazing machine infecting people with positive energy but from the other hand toby as ordinary man is he jealous is he conflict um what do you mean sorry i, I mean uh who you are in real life uh, how do you speak with people oh, uh, am i the same on air as i am off yeah i for, for me uh, as a caster i i love my dota and i love it off 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 air as well like last night we were sitting down having a couple of drinks with some ukrainian guys and i was sitting there with kuro and we were talking about chinese dota and and this went on for like two two hours and the ukrainian guy said would you mind stop talking about dota i'm like no this doesn't happen we live dota uh and uh, i i i just it, it transfers out everywhere i don't change myself on live stream i want to be the same person on air as i am off air Sometimes that means there's a little bit of an uglier side, but hey, that's the whole thing. You get the real me when I'm on the stream. Your full nickname is Toby Wan Kenobi. Correct. Are you a fan of Star Wars? I was a massive fan of Star Wars. Uh, obviously, I hate George Lucas for what he did to the, to the recent Star Wars episodes. Uh, but as far as the whole universe goes, extended universe and things like that, then yeah, I've definitely followed it. Of course, big shout out if he ever watches anything like this, Timothy Zahn, uh, who created an amazing extended universe. Uh, but yeah, I, I am a pretty big Star Wars kind of fan. Uh, I love the universe. Not a massive fan of all of the movies, because obviously there's some horrible flaws in them. Uh, but they gave us an amazing, amazing environment, amazing creative thing. And it was actually a name given to me by my father. Um, so yeah, that was... I, I, I kind of was tossing up with that when I was trying to find a username. And I went, for, I went, between, uh, I went between Toby One, I had Dark Horse for six months, and I had Slippery Nipple for, I think, uh, also another six months. But I said, you know what, Toby One just seems to fit. Uh, I went with it. Not to mention it's a lot easier when you go to Lance because someone goes, hey, Toby, and it's my name normally, so I answer. <laughs> And what is your favorite episode of Star Wars? Uh, favorite episode of Star Wars is definitely Empire Strikes Back. You you can't really you can't really beat Hoth and it was it was a really well done one as far as like faults in it it was pretty much well constructed obviously Ewoks for me was like yeah a little I, they're cool but being the Empire uh -uh. And, and the first one the obvious problem of like don't take the plans back to your base when you know you're being tracked. Yeah, Th things like that bug the living crap out of me. The new ones were really, really amazing. I love Ewan McGregor as well as Liam Nielsen. They are amazing actors, and for me, they carry that, that whole movie. As well as Natalie Portman, most beautiful woman in the world. Um, thank you, Toby, for your answers. Uh, I hope Empire will strike back today <laughs> in finals. Oh, I see. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome, Again. Man. You're welcome. Thanks.